What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Juice Reacts video. No, I am not wearing the same clothes from the other day. Please stop hounding me about it. But before we get into this video that is Battlefleet Gothic 2 Fall of Cadia, which I have been recommended multiple times because I am on this journey to learn about Cadia, uh, I do kind of want to talk about the last Warhammer 40k video that I uploaded because the one thing I noticed in the comments, there was a very mixed reaction about Major Kill. A lot of people had very strong reactions, loved the content. Other people said the dude is problematic. And I kind of looked up into it, uh, kind of just on Reddit and stuff like that. And it just seems like everybody has a different opinion about them. Uh, a lot of people reference it to like South Park and stuff like that. Like people that like Major Kill are the people that also like South Park. And it's kind of just, you know, that kind of humor and the stuff they do and whatnot. I haven't seen anything too crazy yet by Major Kill. Nothing that I'd be like, whoa, I don't, I got to stay away from this person. Other people have mentioned some other stuff. If you have some hardcore proof that uh, Major Kill is a super shitty person and I shouldn't be reacting to their videos, feel free to let me know about it. But from what I saw, it just seemed like somebody that was really big into edgy humor and he's kind of abrasive or he likes the shock and awe kind of thing. Uh, and I am somebody that does like shock comedy. I've talked about it many, many times on here. I like Flash Gits, which is an animation channel that I do on here a lot of the times. And it's just kind of, uh, I'm not a big, I don't really care about humor that kind of crosses the line sometimes. Uh, but if somebody's genuinely a shit human, and eh, I don't really want to keep, um, I guess promoting their content if they're genuinely a shit human. There are people here on YouTube that do things for shock and all, but they're genuinely cool people outside of the world. So I don't know. I just wanted to put my two cents out there because I think there are, there was a lot of interesting conversations going on in that comment section, but I just want to give my two cents out there to guys let you, you know, kind of let you know how I go. But right now, we're gonna get out of the way of all that, and we're gonna actually watch this freaking video on Battlefeet Gothic 2, The Fall of Cadia. Ba ba bum Hopefully people are still here years, after that <laughs> intro. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I wanted to comment on it. But let's do this shit. At the eternal glories of the Imperium, at the very soul of mankind. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress world of Cadia has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion, granted strength by flesh and bone, and seeded purpose by faith this in looks the cool. Emperor's holy light. I love that those statues are bleeding. That's insane. But as the darkness grew ever deeper, and the blaze of the Astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle. Ooh. The Eye of Terror pulsed, its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. Slanesh. I don't know. It just felt Slaneshy vibes. Ooh. Chaos. Oh my god, I'm loving this. This looks awesome. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, and madmen whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, inheritor of the arch traitor Horus's ah. reviled legacy. Despoiler. The 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first to feel its wrath. Learned a little bit about Despoiler in the Templar Without our shield, video. That accursed hulk will scour Cadia clean. Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. <gasps> my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. By the fang. I want to learn more I about the wolves. Without a fight. Cause they look dope. I'm all about Viking shit. Sven Bloodhow, stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage. But sometimes courage 
is not enough. Initialization failed. Null array inert. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Rerouting. Reroute failed. This looks cool. I'm loving this animation style. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Null array deploying. Necrons? Was that it? The Necrons are hidden on this planet, if I'm not mistaken, in those two, in the pillars. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not through the bravery of Sven Bloodhound, nor the labors of Magus Clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. This would look so awesome in a film. As the tears faded, traitor warships blackened the skies. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls oh. of Cathacrath held. Oh, in that looks dope. Darkest of days, the flame oh, the of sisters. valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. That's awesome. The flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory. Is that it? Archmagos, your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to Cadia. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Area 6. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon, his malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds, all unmade by the Despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. The pylon's forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah, but their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium will claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go, make your studies. May the Emperor guide you. Oh shit! It's the Washington Monument! I knew that thing was alien. Never been to Washington. It's alien. Wait, is this their research? Oh shit. Necrons, right? I mean you no harm. But you are an abomination. I prefer honored guest. But abomination or not, you and I have common cause. Logic dictates otherwise. Then you don't seek to understand the nature of this matrix. You comprehend its secrets. 
I was there when they first awakened. Or perhaps I wasn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. Neither of us desires to see this galaxy ripped asunder by the Imperial ones. Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change. For me, for you, for this world. Show me. Oh. You don't ever go with the bad guy. No, this is madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt and obeys without question. Entering real space in three. This is two, video game one. graphics, right? Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. Form up. Am I about to watch a video game play? Do a barrel roll. The purity blade. Silver Dawn to Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost. We must disengage. Ah, oh, come on! Don't be a bitch. Do Keep fighting. As the Emperor wills. Incoming transmission. Is that a fist? Logo? Black Lives Matter? That's what it looks like. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn, this is the Admiral. All ahead full. Prospects readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I need more. This looks dope. Oh! By the Emperor. On the size, Grace. This is beyond my experience. That's the Necrons, right? Hurry. What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is. Yeah! Incoming transmission. It's the phalanx. The despoiler has retreated to the vengeful spirit and lit his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the vengeful spirit. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the arch traitor dies at our hands. Dies oh, look, there's that star thing, though. Weapons. Load torpedoes. We are the Emperor's fury. We shall not fail. D Fire! All weapons! The vengeful spirit is firing, sustaining hull damage. Structural breaches on all decks. No! No! Wow! They got annihilated! Reactor critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss 65,000. The vengeful spirit intercepted our torpedoes. No significant. Jesus! Damage. What? What have I done? You lost? I tried. My arrogance. Additional chaos vessels inbound. Very well. If that is how this ends, if we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on. All hands. Oh, they're gonna run into him? Last effort before they overwhelm us. Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, I love when ships in space do that. No, you must be mistaken. A lot of people bitched about the Last Jedi, but that one scene, hyperspace through the ship. Oh, beautiful. What are they doing? Vox 
Ops officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. Now! Too late. Oh, so this is how it got dropped? I like that they're using ships to push it down into the planet. That's that's really creative. I like that. Ah! You're not gonna show me the. Wait, hold on. We still got time, right? Ah! Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh, I thought that was a little bit more. Damn. Okay. That was a good fucking intro video for that game. Okay. Alrighty then. I thought that was pretty fire. Okay, so. That was pretty dope. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so again, for the last video I did, I mentioned how I watched the Templar Institute video on Kadia, uh, but my microphone wasn't working, and I had to scrap the whole video, which was unfortunate. But at the end of that video, they had that quote. Um, I don't want to butcher it. The quote was, Kadia broke before the guard did. That was an amazing quote they said it right after how basically uh katie's fall like inspired the rest of the imperium or whatever to uh rise up and fight even harder and stuff like that thought that was an amazing freaking quote it's like the you know all there is is war or what's only left is war and whatnot um katie broke before the guard did is such an amazing quote like even for somebody that doesn't know a lot about everything in, in the 40k universe. I just, I can appreciate that quote. And uh, this was awesome. I love stuff like this. Like, you guys know me. If you've been watching my 40k videos for a while, I love just seeing the battles and the universe and the storytelling. I love learning about it. So I love the Templar videos and stuff like that and understanding the lore. But when it comes to just the visuals of 40k, I'm like, oh! And I just love it. And this was mwah, mwah, amazing. Of course, as always, I will always take any recommendations you have. But stuff like this is, ooh, love it. Bread and butter. Send it my way. Anyways, anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys stuck around to watch this whole video. Uh, I appreciate every one of you giving me your input on the stuff you like. And even, like I said at the start of this video, the stuff you don't like. I will always take things into consideration. I appreciate you guys watching this channel. I appreciate you giving it a thumbs up because it helps out the channel. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate my subscribers. But if you haven't subscribed but you've been watching all these videos, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family because we love you here. Of course, if you guys want to see me play some video games, come check out the Twitch stream. Go hit that follow button and turn notifications over there because we like playing video games. And of course, if you want some stupid random content, go check out my TikTok because I post a lot of random stuff over there too. That is not necessarily 40K, but it's just more my personality. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Juice Box. Remember to wake up in the morning and ask yourself something. Buy my daily dose of juice. Wow, why was that so high pitched? I don't know. See you guys next time.